Here's another tip. Don't call your submission the darkroom editing challenge. That's one more reason why you might not win. I'm currently running an editing challenge. I've got about 20 submissions. And from all these, there's maybe one that has a shot at winning. Now, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to give away the prizes anyway, because I want to reward the people that take action. But there's something that I noticed that I think I can share with you to make sure that you actually have an edge over your competition. All right, he could be in a trunk. This will apply for this challenge and any other of the big filmmaking challenges that are happening throughout the year. All of this in this video. Are you seeing the t-shirt? Yes. That's what editing is about. I've done my share of editing competitions. I've been a judge, I've organized them, and I've seen thousands of submissions, scenes, and shorts. I can give you some pointers on what it is that most of the people do wrong. I'm gonna count them down. So number five, and this is kind of an obvious one, so please forgive me, but you gotta take action. So if you're not submitting at all, Obviously, you're not gonna win. Duh. That was an obvious one. But most people fail at that. Otherwise, there would be more than 20 submissions. Number four, really read the rules and stick to them. And let me show you something. So I've got 20 submissions, but I also have a category called disqualified. There's a good portion of people that actually didn't read the rules and stick to them. People are submitting stuff that is longer than 60 seconds. 108. Victory. Now, if Carlos here, my friend, 119. So I emailed him and said, hey, you gotta be 60 seconds or less or I cannot accept your submission because that would be unfair to everybody else that stuck to the rules. Then he comes back, sends me another submission and this time he puts visuals in there. But the rule is no picture stick to it most huge competitions they will not let you know if you break one of the rules you're immediately out read the rules okay counting down number three you have to be unique recently i was doing the exciting editing challenge and in that one the main storyline that 80 percent of all the submissions had was starting off in the fridge there are a couple of eggs they're wondering what's about to happen a guy grabs them and he's gonna crack an egg and he's gonna fry it up and they're gonna die. Please stop it. I don't I can't watch. Dozens and dozens of variations of that storyline. If you do what everybody else is doing, you're probably in trouble. See if you can foresee as a storyteller, what is the story that's gonna be unique? Where you run a couple of ideas and chances are the first two or three ideas that are so obvious that they come to mind immediately are the ones that everybody else are pursuing. When you're unique, you don't necessarily have to be good. Going to number two, sound is so important. This goes for every film, and that's the reason why I made the Darkroom Editing Challenge. Sound is not just there to fill the space, it is there to enhance the story. Yes, 911. Hello, I'm buried in a coffin, please help. Send someone to find me. First of all, get the basics right, the technical stuff. Does it sound smooth or is it rough in the audio transitions? Are there audio holds? And then use sound design to enhance the story, to make it more immersive. I go upstairs. I hear him. I hear him. I hear you. Josh! And this is the number one reason why most people will not succeed. I want you guys to to realize how important it is to find a story that makes sense within the constraints of the competition. You know, constraints are a huge opportunity for you to tell an interesting story. Taking advantage of the opportunity of the dark room editing challenge. Why is it dark? And I put that in the trailer to make sure that people really think about the story first. Somebody's locked up in a trunk. There's a bunch of people in an elevator. There's a power failure. Come up with a unique angle that really justifies the fact that it's dark. Let me play you some examples. Congratulations, Mr. James. It's a girl. She is our gift from God. She is, she is our little hope. And by the way, I'm doing this because we're just entering round two. 
So I'm taking all the submissions in round one. They're in a pool. What I'm sharing now is not gonna affect their chances of winning. But I want the people in round two to have the opportunity to really get creative. Daughter, hope is the gift of Satan. <laughs> the devil. So Viraj, congratulations, you told a story, you took action, and you told a story that's unique. Great execution, very smooth, you had sound effects in there, you had music in there, you're playing with all the elements, and I want to congratulate you. But none of this has to happen in the dark. You could have done this with visuals. There is no story reason why this should be in the dark room. I gotta say, I want you to do better. Okay, let's try this one, Lockdown. There's some potential there. Lockdown, darkness, that could be something there. 60 seconds. Mommy. Subtitles, Mommy. Are okay. Mommy, Uthun. Mommy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> गांव जाने वाली ट्रेन का इंतजार कर रहे थे दोनों को कोरोना है ऐसा लगा तो लॉक कर दिया पर लेकिन लड़की जिंदा है तू अपना काम कर चुपचाप भाग इधर से हां चाहता हूं ओके आई गॉट टू से एक्चुअली दिस वन काइंड ऑफ फॉलोस द रूल्स इफ we believe the premise that they're locked up in a dark room because of the lockdown situation, coronavirus, whatever. So actually, I gotta say, this is a this is a contender. However, I have some notes. Like I'm hearing the dialogue, the people outside as if I'm standing outside. Wouldn't it be better to make it muffled as if it's coming through the door? So our point of view is with the person that's in the darkness. That would be my note. But it's not necessarily a disqualifier. I think you actually have a real good shot at winning in round one. At least something. Steve, you're taking a chance. The rule is no visuals. So I'm gonna have to email you back and say you need to resubmit and it has to be dark. Oh, come on guys. Tell Jimmy I'll get him the money. Let me out of here. You're telling a story that's taking place in the dark. That's awesome. Now you're the second guy that has a guy in the trunk story. So now you're not unique anymore. That puts you a little bit behind the eight ball because now I'm gonna compare you to the other guy and see which one is better. People on the street called him Jimmy the Shark on the account that he was a loan shark. Now you can't know that, but this goes to show that when you are developing these ideas, think about like, is maybe that first idea that I have the obvious one that others might have as well. If you really feel strongly about the guy in the trunk, make sure it's great. Okay, I'm gonna take one last look at one. Let's listen. Uh-oh, is this another trunk story? Definitely. But you know, I like this one because I have to figure it out myself. Nobody's telling me that he's in a trunk. So I'm kind of engaged. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto right now. Okay, it feels to me a little bit like you were just recording uh, Grand Theft Auto. Could be, I could be wrong, maybe you designed this. But what's the story? There's a guy in the trunk. That's an idea, that's not a story. A story ha should have three elements. It's like, who wants what, why right now, and what happens if he doesn't get it. That's a story. If you solve these five issues, 
you're gonna win this competition. There are 20 people. I will give away all the 11 prizes that we have in this competition. I wanna reward the people that take action, no matter what, that's the most important part. But I really wanna make sure that we have a grand prize winner that is well-deserving because they tell a unique story that has a reason to exist. I will now play the winner of the previous excellent editing challenge and the Mavic Mini Grand Prize. If you want to win this amazing drone or any of the prizes worth $3,000 total, check the video description for the rules. I want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Surfshark is rated among the top 5 VPNs and it is the cheapest among them. A VPN is a virtual private network to protect you from getting tracked or hacked on the internet. I never log into a public Wi-Fi network without using a VPN. Plus, it allows me to watch shows from other countries by hiding my actual location. I've been using Surfshark for 3 months now and I prefer it over another service that I actually paid a ton of money for. Use the promo code THISGUYEDITS to get an 84% discount plus an extra month free. Link in the video description. Now, it is my pleasure to present you the winner of the excellent editing challenge. This comes from Nova Atina in the Slovakai who absolutely hit it out of the park. Enjoy! Here's another tip. Don't call your submission the darkroom editing challenge or the name of the film only. Now you noticed I put all the names in there. I did that. But you should do that. When you submit to something, put your name in there because chances could be that somebody loses the connection between your email, your name and the actual submission. I'll get 50 submissions that are called the darkroom editing challenge and that's one more reason why you might not win. 